Hi, this is your host Abhinav Bharatiya and welcome to another episode of Let's See. And today we have with us once again, Liran Himovich, CTO and co-founder of Rookout. Liran, it's great to have you on the show. It's good being back here. Yeah, and as I said, you know, we started a new series called Let's See. So in addition to Let's Talk, where we see uh, uh, how things actually work. And today we are going to talk about uh, live metrics. Before we, uh, I ask you to show us the demo, talk a bit about what are live metrics and kind of how they help businesses connect code with the business. What is it? Everybody in observability is talking about metrics. I think if you ask any SRE out there today, metrics is probably their favorite data source or probably favorite pillar of observability. And yet there is a big hustle in getting metrics right. Uh, obviously, you can get some metrics off the shelf from uh, uh, commercial vendors, but the metrics you truly care about, and I think Facebook made that uh, very famous about being hyper-focused on the like button, and it's not just about how many likes do they have that's relevant for the business, it's also about relevant for operations. And so if you want to really focus on those likes, on whatever matters for your business, you have to do a lot of work to get those metrics in. You have to code them in, you have to test them, you have to monitor them over time, you have to experiment, add them, remove them, and so on and so forth. And what we do in, with live metrics is we take the, you know, the, the technology of Rookout, the being able to dynamically collect data, and we allow you to create new metrics on the fly in real time. So if you have a new button, if you have a new concept, if you have an old concept you want to retest or reevaluate, you can, with a click of a button, add as many metrics as you want and see in real time how things are going. And then you can even take that data, you can slice and dice it, you can export it to your favorite observability tools. You can use it for operational purposes, you can use it for business purposes, and you have everything connected in a single suite that's in line with your code. So you can see, it's not just somebody said, created the metrics, I don't We have a metric called open message view pane. Literally, it's a metric from our system. Now, do you know what that means? I don't. I would have to look, go to the code and try to look it up and see what it means. Instead, in Rookout, you can see it together. You can see the metric and you can see the code that uh, created it so you can truly understand what it's about. Why are you launching it uh, or announcing it now? How different is it from, because, you know, once again, observability metrics is a kind of crowded space. How you differentiate yourself from others? So I think the key differentiation here is the dynamicity. Uh, while most observability providers will provide you something out of the box for the metrics you truly care about, for the metrics that impact the health of your service, that uh, determine the health of your business, you're going to be doing that manually in a potentially very long process. And we're doing that automatically for you. And as we're gradually moving deeper into the observability space and we want to better service areas and not just software engineers in general, we want to better serve architects, we are... We are looking to deepen our ability to provide big picture insights and not just an uh, individual line of code uh, as, a, as a whole. And on top of that, we're also seeing a huge demand for being more cost efficient as an industry uh, today. And the way cost to metrics work today is that you have to recreate, you have to create everything up front. You have to pay for everything up front. And at the end of the day, you often find that just like with logs, you might not be using 90% of your metrics even though you're paying for them. And that creates a huge formal because you know that when you're gonna need it, you won't be able to add it. And so we're changing that paradigm by enabling you to add the metrics you need when you need them, and you won't be paying potentially tons and tons of money for metrics you never use. Do you think it's time for us to have a look at how it actually works? Here you can see the Rookout screen. Our welcome screen hasn't, it hasn't changed over the past few months. You go in, you can select any service you want. In our case, we're going to take a look at this Kubernetes pod. And we're just going to do demo on a single pod, but you can also look at thousands or tens of thousands pods simultaneously. I'm going to filter the service I want to debug. I'm going to see everything is connected and up and running. And now I can see our source code here. And instead of uh, co collecting a breakpoint, which I would usually do in Rookout, I move into the live metrics mode that enables me to collect data. Now, here you can see an endpoint, the add to do endpoint. I'm going to add a metric here at the beginning and another one at the end. But let's make it more interesting. Let's also look at this metric. Uh, let's add a couple of uh, metric points here. 
and also add the metric within this for loop. Now you see I've just added what seven different metrics. I don't have to redeploy, I don't have to add code, I don't have to wait for anything. Everything I've done is already up and running and my pod is already reporting all these new metrics on the fly. And now I'm gonna to go to the service and I'm gonna start playing around with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. I'm gonna mark a bunch of stuff as completed. And I'm gonna clear click this button and again and again. Now I've done a bunch of stuff in the system. In this case, I'm a single user. Uh, but there might be thousands of, serv of users, in your case, working against the service. But now as I'm moving back into Rookout, all of a sudden I have this very cool graph. I can see which of those uh, points were hit and how often as I was going through the code. So if you take a look, we can see that initially uh, the, the green and yellow stuff got hit, which are the add to do, which we're adding early on. Then we can see that the mild green that uh, the updating of breakpoints occurred and finally i can see that we've iterated through all of those code you can see tons of oranges and then a bit of lesser some reds now all this enables me to see what parts of the code were being executed how often they were being executed what went wrong what went well and i'm getting tons of insight around how my code is executing now obviously this is a very 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 simple demo because we're just trying to show the technology. But think, imagine a much larger scale systems with dozens of endpoints, uh, potentially thousands of functions, each with their own uh, capability, their own place in the system, and you're trying to make sense of it all. Is this function being called? Is it being called with a specific set of arguments? Uh, how many successful transactions am I doing? How many transactions are failing and for what reasons? And so on and so forth. There are endless questions you could be asking yourselves, whether you're asking them long-term, whether you're asking them as you're troubleshooting a production incident, investigating a bug, designing a new feature. And this new capability allows you to measure everything in the code uh, with the click of a button. Talk a bit about the availability when people can start using it. Live metrics is currently available in early access. So if you're a customer or a prospect, just reach out to your account manager for access. And if you are not, then please become a customer of Rookout. We love you guys. Aliran, thank you so much for taking time out today to not only explain live metrics, but also show us a demo, uh, it, how it actually works. Uh, and uh, as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.